Hey robot makers, Raspberry Pi have just launched a new product today, the Debug Probe. Let's take a closer look. So the Debug Probe is a USB device that provides both UART connectivity from the serial port and the standard ARM Serial Wire Debug or SWD interface. The Probe is designed for easy solderless connectivity and it's plug and play debugging. So it has a couple of different cables here. We have the standard USB cable that will connect to your computer that's going to be doing the debugging and a micro USB that connects to the Debug Probe itself. We then have the USB to ARM Serial Wire Debugging port, the USB to UART bridge and this is compatible with the CMS IS DAP standard. It works with OpenOCD and other tools that support the CMSIS DAP. It's open source and it's very easy to upgrade the firmware. We'll find out why in a second. This is of course because the device itself is a Raspberry Pi device. This is a Raspberry Pi RP2040 powered device. So they can see the little RP2040 chip right in the middle there. And that means it's exactly as easy to use as Raspberry Pi Picos. So we can plug this in, we can hold down the boot select button, it'll pop up on your computer just like a regular Pico would do. And you can drop new firmware onto it just like you would normally. So very, very easy to upgrade the firmware on the device. So the debug probe itself will operate at 3.3 volts, which is the standard voltage for RP2040 powered devices. And it includes those three different cables for connecting in the three different ways. So we can either connect the JST connector to the three pin JST connector cable. We have the three pin JST connector to the 0.1 inch header, which is the female connector. And we also have the three pin JST connector to the 0.1 inch header male connector as well. And the two 0.1 inch header cables are intended for breadboard use or directly onto the board using the small JST connector that's on the board itself. You can see there the wiring, we have the orange, which is the transmit or SC output from the probe. We have the black, which is ground, and we have the yellow, which is the receive or SD from the input to the probe or IO. So the newer Raspberry Pis like this one here have the little JST connector, the little white connector on the, uh, the back. And that means we can plug the cable directly into there. The other connectors are for use when you have this on a breadboard and you can plug in the wires themselves. Here's an overhead shot of a regular kind of desktop with this setup. So we've got the Raspberry Pi there plugged into a breadboard. We've got the JST connector plugged in from the probe. And we've also got the, uh, the UART connectors connected to pins 0 and 1 there as well. And here's a typical setup from a sort of wiring perspective. So the ground is on the physical pin 3. We have the UART transmit, which is on pin 1. And we have the, the UART receive on pin 2. And they correspond to uh, any of the grounds on the Raspberry Pi Pico. And the transmit is on GPIO 0 and the receive is on GPIO 1. So let's get over to the unboxing, shall we? So here we have on the, the desk here, the Raspberry Pi debug probe itself. It says cables included. So let's have a quick look at this. See, they've got some instructions and some uh, features there as well. And if I just uh, open this up and show you this, look how nice this packaging is. So we've got two little tabs there. I've got some further information so we can see the three pins connectors there. And we can also see the outputs on the other side. If we flip these open, I love the packaging on this. This is really well engineered. We have the, the probe itself there. So let's get this out. So it's, uh, it's got its own little case. It's quite nice uh, transparent case there. We can see the micro USB connector there. And we can also see the connectors, the JST connectors just inside there as well. And you can actually flip the lid off as well if you wanted to, to take this out. You can see there, there's the RP2040 in the middle and there's the little boot selector button. It's even got a debug probe socket itself as well, which is even more inception. So let's continue opening up the box. I love this. Uh, this is a very nicely engineered piece of cardboard. The different cables there. So we have another one just in the box. So there we go. There's the three different options. There's the uh, micro USB to USB connector. We have the breadboard compatible pins there with the JST connector. And then we've got the other cable connectors there as well. And there's the JST to JST cable there as well. So I'm just going to take this out of this uh, Pimeroni thing and put it into a breadboard. So it's quite simple to plug these connectors in. I've not used that cable there, but I've plugged in the breadboard pins to the debug socket. And I've also plugged in the UART to debug connector there as well. And then this cable will go off to the Raspberry Pi 4, which I have on my desk. 
I've not set up the software on my Mac yet to make full use of this yet. There's a few caveats in the PDF that accompanies this and it says some of the support for Mac M1s are not fully there yet. There's a few things to do with how to get the uh, software installed on the Mac. But I'm looking forward to getting this up and running on the Raspberry Pi 400 and I can do some debugging of uh, some low level stuff on the Raspberry Pi Pico. So this will be available as from today as I understand it. So uh, you'll be able to get your hands on these pretty soon. So I hope you enjoyed this short video and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.